Come, O come, great Lord of might, who to your tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times once gave the law. In cloud and majesty and awe, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we gather to celebrate Thursday of the first week of Advent, this great season of preparation for the breaking forth of Jesus into our world, into our hearts. We should be grateful that God loves us so much that he sent us his only Son. As we gather here today, let us also remember that we have sinned and that we are in need of God's forgiveness. But because he is so merciful, let us rejoice in that mercy and let us give thanks for the gift of this time of preparation for the return of his Son in glory. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength, that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day they will sing the song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we, he sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for a trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord, the just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and have been my voice. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who blesses you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not anyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one that does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rains fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, 
and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it was collapsed and completely ruined. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I really enjoy this particular gospel passage. And I often use it at weddings, and I also use it at graduation. Because I think it's important for us to understand that we have to build ourselves, our house, on solid rock. And that solid rock, of course, is our faith in Jesus Christ. And you know, when we build our house on rock, when we put ourselves on the foundations of our faith, our belief in Jesus Christ and of God's love for us, when inevitably those storms of life will come, and we know they come all the time, and they come and they try to buffet the house, and the rains and the storms seem almost too severe, that we see to be crushed under its weight, we realize that we haven't collapsed because we are built on faith. We are built in our relationship with Jesus Christ that will sustain us, that will give us that gift of hope. You know, as we listen to that first reading today from Isaiah, you know, they talk about that day. And once again, on that day at God's mountain, God will once again level everything. The mighty will be made low, the lowly will be raised up. For in God's kingdom there are no favorites. In God's kingdom there aren't rich and poor. We are all equal. Jesus is the great equalizer of the world. But you know there are so many people whose faith is either weak or they don't believe or they haven't nourished their faith through prayer, through Mass, through Scripture. And as a result, when the difficulties of life come, when the rains come in, the floods come, the winds blow, they seem to collapse. Then they feel abandoned by God, even though they were the ones who abandoned the Lord. And even when our house collapses, God doesn't abandon us. God is there for us to return to him with a gentle whisper, with a nudge, that even in the midst of ruins, Jesus will take care of us and will help build us into that solid rock. It was last week that we received word that one of our local parishes St. Julie Billiard was vandalized in several places. And it was vandalized with satanic symbols, with words that Jesus is a fraud. And you never know what was in the heart of those who have done such a horrible act to a place of worship. We don't know if they were under the influence of some sort of substance and perhaps thought that that would be funny. But you know, when that terrible storm came, when that wind blew against that house of worship, that beautiful church, they didn't collapse. Jesus is there. And you know, Jesus loves even those who seek to destroy him. But we must pray. We must pray that the influence of Satan, however he influences people these days, that the Lord's power will overcome them. Through the intercession of St. Michael, our patron, he will protect us from all evil. So that when those winds come, when the rains came, we will not collapse, for we will be built solidly on rock. My dear friends, today we are united as the body of Christ. Let us turn to the Lord with our prayers and our petitions.
We pray for the church. May the Lord guide and empower her in seeking the lost sheep and returning them to the fold. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For governments and world leaders, may God's wisdom inform and direct their decisions and actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation. May we have peace in our streets. And may we have the greatest respect from all human life. From the moment of conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of St. Julie, may they be strengthened in their faith to know that the Lord, the powerful, almighty Lord, is with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our virtual faith community, may the Lord make us constant in prayer during this Advent season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling with illness or personal afflictions or addictions, may the Lord in his compassion offer them strength and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they find peace in the arms of Jesus. For the souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs, your intentions, that we bring to the Lord today in the very silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Together, let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us now lift up our prayers, uniting them into one, bringing them to our Father, just and using the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, we humbly pray that you grant these petitions according to your holy will. For they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O come, O rod of Jesse, stand. From every foe deliver them That trust your mighty power to save And give them victory over the grave Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel